Hello guys and welcome back to another Applied Energy 62 video. This is a follow-up of my previous video where I talked about dedicated ME tunnel networks. In that video I was just using the normal ME glass cable and then we could transfer four inputs into four outputs, so 128 channels in total through one normal cable. That video ended up in interesting discussions and uh, we talked about how to make things even better using uh, dense cables for one and uh, also the quantum bridge uh, where you can even send to another place. So the secret for well in getting the maximum number of channels is to use dense cable and you will need an ME controller because you have more than eight devices on the in the network so on this side i can have 32 channels and on this side i can have 32 channels so when you connect the controller like this you can actually insert 32 me tunnels into this network and you can output to another place so this means that you can have 32 times 32 that's 1024 channels you can put into a dense cable and then transfer it either across your base like this or you set it into a quantum bridge network or quantum network bridge i have covered this before you can find the link in the video description if you haven't seen it there's a limitation with the quantum bridge and that is that you can only transfer 32 channels into it so even though i can connect one dense cable here and one dense cable here i can still only transfer 32 channels and that's pretty much what we can fit in a dense cable so if we do like this we can actually transfer all these 1024 channels and as you can see here i've just hooked them up to a very strange looking controller and over here we have a network or the, the storage where we have dirt and stone and nothing else but say that this is the really large central uh, computer in your network and you want to send away like well thousand channels over to some other base then this is how you do it 32 tunnels in 32 out through the ring over to this side where we have the same quantum bridge or yeah quantum bridge channel or what you can call it we have 32 channels coming out and divide them into 32 tunnels again of course so over here we can see that all of these are using one channel one of 32 one of eight you will split these up to go to different rooms. Perhaps you have a large apartment complex in your world and you want to hook up one dense cable to each apartment. Maybe. Then this is how it could look. So we can see that all of these, we have the same dirt and stone in every one of these. There's, they're connected to the same network, but we have tons of channel roughly 1024 of them so by covering this topic as well we use dense cable in the same way as we did in the previous one but this one we required an ME controller of course I have one more video on this topic planned and that will be more of a video where I, where I show how to really put things into use not only how it works or how we can do it but more real use cases so and all of this will be the prerequisites to in knowledge to understand that video so uh, i hope you're looking forward to that one because i'm certainly do that and when it's done you can find the link in the video description or in the playlist of course then finally, I just want to say that if it feels like you have seen this before, you probably have because I recorded this and I found an error, so I redid the video, so the old one is gone. I'm sorry about that, but I'd rather release a new correct video instead of having 
one incorrect and then one correct after that. So if you have any questions about this, then keep them coming. I love when uh, a video ends up in good discussions, such as the last one did. It ended up in this video and this very strange build, but I hope that you really understand that this is a very powerful, powerful way to transfer channels and a lot of them as well. I see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye bye.